So here we are, about uh, one hour outside of Candy, um, about 6,000 feet, I think, uh, we're at. Um, yeah, we're high up in the uh, mountains. Uh, we're in the, uh, the heart of the tea plantation. Um, of course, when you think about Sri Lanka, you think about the tea. Um, uh, in my opinion, uh, the best tea in the world comes, uh, comes from these mountains. Um, so we stopped, uh, we're going to grab uh, some, some tea, uh, we're going to pick up some uh, butter cake, uh, in fact it's just arrived and uh, well, we may have uh, more than one cup. So just have a quick peek, there you go, there's my tea, there's my driver. If you look around you can just see how spectacular it is. So yeah, we're we're about an hour outside of uh, Candy. We've got about an hour to go till we hit uh, New Orleans, um, and I'll see you that end. So here I am at uh, Nuel Elia uh, Golf Club, um, 125 years old, would, would you believe? Uh, and I'm here with K. Sounder Raja. He's the uh, the golf pro. He's the the head, the head of operations, and he also looks after the maintenance. So he's a, a real jack of all trades. Um, can, Chippers, can you just can you just tell us how you maintain the the golf course? Yeah, we will maintain it nicely because uh, we have in the fairways, especially in the fairways, we don't put in any fertilizer, any not chemical, we not put in the fairways. Only for the green, we will uh, have for two machines only, for back nine one, front nine one. It's, uh, every two days we will cut the back greens. We can, since the three days we cut the grass. Uh, for not in the double cut, for one cut they will cut because in the dry now, uh, when you raining season, we will cut from in the after five days, continue cut in the greens. Saturday, Sunday, we will not cut the grass. Uh, in the maintenance, in the fairways, in the rough, everything is a nat natural one, natural grass. This grass name is buffalo. Okay, this grass is buffalo in the green grass in the uh, blue grass. It's especially it's only for here yeah, this grass. We can't put in the uh, outside this grass not working. Right, right. What um, what what machines do you have uh, to work with? Uh, we have in the Toro, in the rub, especially in the green machine, thousand cc. Right. We have two machines. That machine is only used for we are in the green and tea boxes. Right. We cut today's cut the green and tomorrow they will cut from in the uh, same machine in the tea boxes. Right, right, right. And what about the fairways? <clears throat> fairways is very good. Fairways you can hit any places. You can hit in the driver also. We are hitting the driver because nice lie, nice uh, grass in the fairways. Right. 
Not like that grass in the Calambo course, in the Candy course. Right. Because it's especially in the grass, in the very nice, beautiful grass right. in the Norelia right. Golf Club. Do you have Do you have any um, irrigation on the golf course? No irrigation. We are putting from uh, we have in the water pump two water pump. We are have in the all number six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five walls have with the water lever. We will put in the walls in the there and uh, pump in the in the close to the water. We have 100 meters in the walls. Right. Okay. They will after then we put the water from the same in the pump water. Right. It's right. about liver waters that right. one. No sprinklers here. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So here I am at the uh, maintenance building. Uh, I'm going to be shown around, uh, showing what equipment uh, they have to work with here. Hello, this is from in the main building, our maintenance in the building. This is from our fairway machines, Grandmore. Uh, this is our water pump and uh, water bowsers from back nine. We will uh, early morning every day put in the water. It's another one uh, with a machine inside. We can go inside, sir. These are the other tractors we will put in form in the bad things. Mother, have you ever seen this machine? This is the main... Wow. Very, very good. This is the machine, sir. This one no work. This one no working. This one no working. These two only working for 1000 cc for total. In the green machine and tea machine, both of them. Right, okay, so, so you've only got two for, for all eight and green. Two only, right. for uh, we are, uh, both of the change and cutting in the green and tea, this one. Okay. This is another water pump in the back line. What is the, what is the, the, the average size of your greens? These are green sizes, different sizes. Right, sir. okay, okay. So Every 18 greens, it's so different. Very. One green slow, one green is bigger, so yes. all number uh, 6 and 14, too much bigger green. Right. All number 1. Two, it's a two batch big. Right. Even short of part three is a little bit shorter. Gotcha. Short grains here. I got you. This is the maintenance uh, chip. We not. How are you, Vinod? Uh, it's a carpenter of um, uh, Tiba. How are you, Tiba? Nice, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Wow, okay. This is the one Toro, we have uh, rough cutter. Okay. Yeah, okay. this one is very, very thin. So, what do you use to cut your uh, fairway? Fairway, we cut that Just, one. That's it? Yes, this is the fairway machine. The outside. Right. What? The green mower, I told wow. You. That's unreal. Yeah, that one. That's it, eh? Yeah, that's it. So it's, the, it's, the, it's a gang mower of sorts. Yeah. This wow. Ma this machine for in the sand and the uh, green we will put in the sand in the bunker. They will right. put in the machine that right. one. Right. Now, now they, they were telling me at the clubhouse that the golf course is, uh, is on an area of about 92 acres. Yeah, 92 acres. Because, yeah. because now it's coming a little bit less. Right. Because uh, British people, that time we have in the other mark, you know, every right. area mark, right. and now a little bit coming, a little, a little 92 small. acres right. they have now. Okay, okay. So very still... Yeah, very important things in the uh, President House and Prime Minister House inside, middle of the have golf courses. Right, right, okay. So there's still a lot of grass to be, uh, to be managed and, and mowed. Yes. Thank you.
So the sun's uh, starting to set here in uh, Nuer Elia. Um, I'm just sat outside the clubhouse. I've got uh, dinner coming a bit uh, a bit later. They're going to be preparing me something. You feel very important here. It's uh, it's a very special place. It's a very unique place. You know, I I walked the uh, golf course um, a bit earlier with the. Uh, the golf course superintendent who's also the golf pro and he's also uh, the head of golf operations he's a bit of uh, a jack of all trades and it's just remarkable um, what kind of golf is out here uh, you know this this golf club is 125 years old um, it's not the oldest golf club in Sri Lanka that's Royal Colombo which I'll see later in the week but you know, it, it hasn't lost any of that flavour. It's it's remarkably distinct and unique and fun and interesting. Um, and you've got 18 holes laid out over 92 acres, which is what is that? About 40 hectares. Um, and just some of the just some of the most amazing golf holes, uh, crossing holes. There's numerous crossing holes. You're playing over the road a couple of times through narrow chutes. Um, there's just, you know, there's just some remarkable gardens bounding the golf. There's um, a lot of animals. Uh, I've seen a whole bunch of monkeys out there. Um, it's just, it's just such a special place. Um, you know, I, I just wish more people could see this type of golf. You know, the, the game to me has become far too guideline driven. You know, I, I was sent a, a proposal um, two weeks ago for a for a new build and there was three pages there telling me basically what I needed to do um, uh, you know with reference to designing the golf course it needed to be par 72 and it needed to be over 7,000 yards and there needed to be so many par fours and par threes and par fives uh, you know you know per each nine um, and uh, you know I, I, I wish to shake my head at that um, you know you just got to come to a place like this and see that you can have fantastic, fantastic golf um, on 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 less than a hundred you know a hundred acres, um, and it can be interesting and it can be enjoyable and you can remember every hole and yet you know it doesn't fit any any guidelines or it doesn't you know fit any rules. Okay, it's got 18 holes, but that's about the only thing that 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 seems. To, to fit the norm you know, it, it, it kind of re reminds me of the of the of the brancaster of, of of asia you know you as i say you are crossing holes and you walk across holes to get to other holes and you, you're playing across the road and it, i mean it's such a special place and like i said you know if if, if anything it kind of highlights that that you don't need to be so guideline driven and and that's and that goes for the maintenance as well i mean um they've got two greens mowers and one gang mower and I tell you the, the, the woods of greens are in tip-top uh, shape um, and the fairways are, are absolutely wonderful um, so it's, it's just it's just such such a special place um, and that goes for the clubhouse behind I you know I, I'm going to talk about this a bit but you know clubhouse architects and budding clubhouse architects should should take note of this it's, you know, an old characterful golf club that's intimate and warm and you know um, makes you all very very happy so it, it's been a it's been a wonderful few hours here I'm, I'm gonna walk the course early tomorrow morning I may even do another another video um, off of the course but um, I'm gonna upload a bunch of pictures uh, I'm gonna try and talk as much as I can on Twitter and even Instagram and Facebook and I'm gonna blog a piece and come back with any woods of questions but this is one of those places on the globe that is just so special it's just it's just so unique um, you know it's if if you look at uh, google earth you'll also note that it's in the middle of the city so the golf is rooted through through the city so you're bounded by buildings and you can hear the, the music going um which you can hear now um, and of course you, you, you're putting next to a road and uh, it's just it's just remarkably fun and unique and, and maybe golf needs a lot more of this uh, I think golf needs a lot more of this so yeah uh, I'm gonna leave it there uh, it's my uh, dinner time soon uh, 
uh, and then I've I've got to put together this uh, this this video and uh, and do some tweeting. So uh, until tomorrow, uh, I'll talk to you then.